Hello everybody, my name is Weefies and welcome back to another video. The Skin Saga continues. In today's video, we are going to be doing what you have already done to Grian and Mumbo to Iskel85. Comparing his various skins and finding out which one is, in fact, the best. While Iskel's videos are very entertaining as is, especially with his infectious laugh, his skins make them even better and more enjoyable. Iskel's skins are unique because of the immaculate detail he puts into them. Most of Iskel's skins are really, really well made, and I think they truly do add a lot to the episode. As per usual, please let me know in the comments section what skin of Iskel's is your favorite. I would really, really appreciate it, and I'm really, really curious to know what you guys think. And of course, if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. With all that said, let's get right into the video. Oh, and of course, I do hope you enjoy. Before we talk about the skins, let's first figure out how to determine which skin is the best. If you have watched my previous Hermacraft skin comparisons, you would already be familiar with these criteria, but for those of you who are new, and the refresher for those of you who might have forgotten, we have four criteria over here at Luffy's channel to rank people's skins. Criteria number one, impact slash relevance to the plot. Out of 10, I will rank how much I think the skin contributed to the episode, and how memorable or enjoyable that scene slash episodes was. Criteria number two, out of, out of 10 again, I will be judging how detailed the skin is. I'll try to guess how many changes occurred between changing the skins, and this is kind of opinion based how much work I think was put into the skin change. Criteria number 3, creativity. Out of 5 this time, I will try to judge how cool of an idea the skin was, originality and all that. You can tell I'm not a very good judge at originality. Criteria number 4, finally, I will be just giving my opinion out of 5. It's just my opinion, so it is apparently out of 5. And this is just how much I personally like the skin. Do I like it? Does it appeal to me? Is it? Do I think it's good? Who knows? But without further ado, let's get right into the video. And please do consider subscribing. As I said before, I would really, really mean the world to me. But thank you, and let's do this. Today, I have 11 candidates, all hoping to win the award of Best Iskal Skin of Hermacraft Seasons 6 and 7. Just a quick disclaimer, if this video does not feature a skin of Iskal, that is either because it was pre-recorded and the skin isn't out yet, or the skin wasn't part of Hermitcraft or wasn't on name MC. I'll be a bit stricter this time as well, so the scores won't be as high as usual. But finally, let's start with number 11. Last, but certainly not least on our list, with a low score of 8.5 out of 30, is Grumbo Scal. Some may consider this as irrelevant, and I would be among those people. This skin, if I'm not mistaken, only appeared once on a Hermitcraft when Green and Iskal recruited Mumbo for the Hermitcraft Civil War. For those of you unaware, Hermitcraft Season 6 had a civil war, and Grian, a captain of the two of one of the two sides, decided to hire Mumbo Jumbo to spy on the other team. But that's a story for another video. Namely this one, where I talk about the best stories, and you can check that out, I do recommend it, but after this one, of course. Regardless, during the hiring process, Iskal came dressed as this monstrosity, and was ridiculed by the other hermits present. Now, I may be mistaken in this, but this skin has absolutely no relevance to the plot whatsoever. Additionally, not much work was put into the skin as far as I can tell, only the eyes were altered and the mustache was added, scoring a 1 and 2.5 in plot and detail respectively. While the skin is practically useless, it is funny and creative, so I gave it a 3 for creativity and a 2 for opinion, because it's decent. Nothing wrong with it, but there's not anything that I really like, so I really, really enjoy. Moving on though, to number 10. Scoring just a tiny bit higher, with 9.5 points, is Grian Mask Iskel. Green Mask Iskal appeared in a conference between Iskal and some very interesting looking Green and Mumbo. Although I am really unsure of how this meeting was recorded, uh, if all the accounts were in fact Iskal's, I assume he just recorded himself and asked Mumbo and Green for audio. I don't know. Regardless, because this did have a role in the episode, a small one, but a significant role, the, it gets a 2 out of 10 for plot. It also gets a 2 out of 10 for detail, because it isn't really that special. A 3 in creativity though, because this was fun to watch, and a 2.5 in opinion, because I kind of like this cool mask idea, but there isn't much to it. As I said before, I do think it's funny. All that said though, it is a pretty low score. The holder of the number 9 spot is none other than Green Iskel. This skin happened after the long saga that was Demise. For those of you who are new to Season 7, or want a refresher, here's the story. The Hermit held a competition, Demise, a contest to see who could go the longest without dying. After Demise, most of the Hermits who had died had their skins turned black and white. So Mumbo Jumbo, being the genius he is, built a Saturator, a machine that would restore the colors of people's skins. However, things did not go as planned, and many of the Hermits, including Iskel, who used Saturator, had their skins overly brightened. Hell, Green even became radioactive. 
To solve this problem, Iskel himself stepped up and made a desaturator to undo the effects of Mumbo's contraption. But as with most things on the Hermitcraft server, it did not go as planned, and because Iskel and Mumbo went into the desaturator together, they both ended up with mangled versions of each other's skins. To fix this new problem, Mumbo made yet another machine. You'd think he'd learn his lesson after the saturator, but no. He made an unjumbler, which would turn the, skin, the hermit's skin back to normal. Of course, because it's Mumbo Jumbo, you may have guessed, the contraption didn't really work either. Instead of fixing Iskel's skins, it just made him green. <laughs> Phew, that was long. Because of this long and winding row, the skin gets a 4 in creativity and a 6 in plot, because it was a fun addition to the very relevant to my story. However, as you may have guessed, it only gets a 2 in detail because it's just a green man. Not very hard. I also gave it a 1.5 in opinion. It's not that I don't like it, it's just I don't think it deserves a good score because there isn't much to dislike or there isn't much to like. It's just green. Number 8 is one of the more new skins on Iskel's skin list. Beekeeper Iskel, or Beeskel for time purposes. Beeskel made an appearance on Iskel's 5th episode of Hermitcraft Season 7, as this season had the beehives and other 1.15 features included. It took Iskel took it upon himself to set the mood for his honey block collecting. In that episode, he had to gather 24 honey blocks to complete a tree farm. As such, it was only appropriate that he used a beekeeper suit to stay safe. Of course. Because this only lasted one episode, the skin gets a 3 in plot and a 2.5 in creativity, because while it is always creative to change your skin to help the episode, this is probably not a stretch for possibilities, as it was appropriate. Appropriate, but not creative. I like the skin, I think it's really well made, it looks really cool, so I gave it a 3 for opinion and a 6 in detail. I think that most of Iskal's plot related skins look really good, and you'll see all of the remaining ones score at least a 5 in detail. Number 7, with 2.5 more points than the previous with a total score of 17, is Dorothy Iskal. Iskorothy? I really don't know how to make this a combined name thing. This skin made two appearances, but the major and first one happened when Iskel tried to sell a Sahara Now membership to Good Times with Scar. After hearing Scar mention that The Wizard of Oz was his favorite movie in their previous exchange, Iskel took notes and got his tailor to sew him a suit that was a good fit ha ha ha, for the occasion. See what I did there? Needless to say, with a bit of negotiation, Iskel was able to sell Scar not one, but two Sahara Now memberships. The skin is a 3 in plot, as it didn't affect too much, but it does look really good, so I gave it a 7 in detail. The whole Dorothy idea was quite creative and very clever, and I did enjoy Iskal's proposal, and as such, the skin gets a 4 and a 3 in creativity and opinion, respectively. Moving on now to the top 6. In 6th place, with just half a point more, is War General Iskal. War General Iskal appeared in another event relating to the Hermitcraft Civil War. As I mentioned before, Green was the leader of one of the sides of the war, but Iskel, however, took it upon himself to dress in a sort of sailor outfit, instead of fitting in with the rest of the team's aesthetic. The decision did score on 2.5 in creativity though, because he didn't conform like the rest of the G team. I think the skin is decent, and I gave it a maybe low 2 in opinion. I know this is a bit ironic, but it seems too like, like a minifigure? Childish a bit. That's not to say I don't like it, I just, I don't know, something about it is a bit off. However, while the skin it is decent there, it does do really, really well in plot and detail, getting a 7 in plot as most skins related to the war do, and a 6 in detail. While I don't like the, quote, vibes of the skin, I do think it's really nice and seems to be really well made. I think it took a bit of time to make definitely a good skin. Coming in at number 5 is Rainbow Iskel. I personally don't think the skin should score as high as it does, but it does check all the boxes. I gave it a 6 in plot, because Rainbow Iskal was the result of the Saturator mishap that we already discussed. It also looks decent. I think there was a bit of thought put into it, but not enough to warrant it more than a 5, unless I'm unaware that they chose the perfect color scheme to make it very, very nice. Maybe that did work, because I do really like the color of the skin and its colors. I think it looks cute in a way, and the colors do make it really nice to watch. As such, it gets a very good 4 out of 5 in opinion, and a 3 out of 5 in creativity. As we mentioned, a failure of Mumbo Jumbo's machine was not uncommon, but that isn't to say the skin is unoriginal. In fact, I think Iskel did a really nice job of saturating his skin. So I don't know for sure if the skin deserves the number of points it did get, but one thing is for sure, it owns the spot. Party suit Iskel? Number 5. Moving on to number 4. Coming up next is a surprise two-way tie for 3rd and 4th place, and this tie occurs between Tennis Iskel, or Tennis Gal, and Rich Scal. The first may be the oldest skin on this list, occurring in Hermitcraft 6 when the architect lads Green and Mumbo went out for golf. 
The golfing session lasted a while, but only took up one episode, earning the skin a measly 3 in plot. However, the skin exceeds in detail and opinion. I gave it a 5 for opinion, simply because I love how the skin looks. Out of all of Viscal skins, this one is definitely my favorite, just because I think it was really, really, truly well made, and something about it just looks so good. The colors, mmm, it's really good. Because of the detail and precision and overall style, the skin gets a 9 out of 10 in detail. Regretfully, it isn't too creative, but it has more of a tennis vibe, so I was generous and gave it a 3 for creativity. Rich Girl, on the other hand, does average in all the categories instead of exceeding in few. It gets a decent 5 in plot, mainly because Rich Girl makes many appearances throughout Hermitcraft Season 6. I won't tell you why though, I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who don't know. I think the skin looks very posh, and Iska succeeded in the style that he was probably going for. Although I don't know, he could have been going for something else completely. I don't really know. But introducing a whole other skin and devoting many episodes to it definitely scored him some creativity points. Earning a 7.5 in detail and a 3.5 with that regard. Iskow was very rich, but it was very smart of him to make this whole new persona for it. Personally, I do like the skin. I think the mustache and monocle look really nice and they add to the rich feel of the skin. And the whole thing goes well with Iskow's nicely tailored suit and pants. As such, I gave it a 4 in opinion. Both skins scored an overall 20 points, which is pretty good, considering I was definitely harsher than usual. With just half a point more, holding the number 2 spot is Mumscal85. This skin, yet again, relates to the Demise Saturator Jumbler thingy, which we've already spoken about numerous times, so I won't go over it again. Mumscal85 was Eskal's crossover between him and Mumbo. The very geography teacher-like result was hilarious, and as you can tell by his laugh and commentary, he definitely likes the skin as well. <laughs> The little beard at the bottom is worse than I thought. It's so bad. <laughs> Those eyes, dude. Or at least he's a very good liar. Because it is part of this long and winding saga, the skin gets a 7 out of 10 in plot and a very big 5 in creativity. I typically wouldn't give it a 5, but because I gave Mumbo Jumbo's crossover a 5 in the last video, I think it's only right to do it again. Speaking of Mumbo skins, if you are curious as to what is the best Mumbo Jumbo skin, do check in the video in the top right right now to see the list for yourself. I ranked all the Mumbo Jumbo skins, and I think it's a really good video I do recommend. After this one, of course. Regardless, this skin gets a 5 in detail, because it looks average. I do like Iskal's crossover more than Mumbo's though, so it does get a 3.5 in opinion. But while the skin score is very high, it isn't high enough to earn it the number 1 spot on this list. Coming in at number 1, holding that spot with a score of just 0.5 more, at 25 points of 21 points, is Flag Raider Iskal. Now, most of you probably don't remember this skin if you've ever even heard of it, but to refresh you and introduce it for the new people, Flag Raider Iskal was also part of the Civil War storyline. To win the war, the teams decided to have a massive capture the flag event. Each team had three flags and would try to hide and defend the flags from the opposers. Iskal85 decided to raid one of the locations, and to do so, dressed up as Flag Raider Iskal. This skin is linked to a very integral part of the war, and as such, earns an 8 out of 10 for plot. Additionally, I think it looks really really good, and the style and feel and mood are on point. Whoever did this skin, whoever made it, did a really good job. So I gave a well earned 7 out of 10 for detail. I think the skin is okay, and because Iskal was not forced to dress like this but did so anyway, it scores at 3 out of 5 in both opinion and creativity. The eye burning make me a little uncomfortable at first, but the more I look at this skin, the more I grow to love it, so it's definitely a good one. I think this skin earns the number one spot on the list, for sure. But with all that said, that is the end of today's video. If you haven't already, please do leave a comment down below letting me know which Iskal skin from this list or in general was your favorite. If I missed any, don't feel free to feel free to scream at me in the comment section. I'd appreciate it. And of course, I really sincerely do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do consider subscribing. It would really, really mean the world to me. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. M maybe one more skin video just for overall hermits. Who knows? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later, later, and peace out. Bye.